Now then my friends, I am super, super excited today because I have got an e-bike review for you. And I'm telling you, it is one of the coolest e-bikes available today. Now, if you've seen this before, you'll probably think it looks a little bit like a Super 73. Now you'd be right, and I'd be right, because I have a Super 73, as you've probably seen me riding around uh, on the videos before, Super 73 RX. This thing though is an Engway M20, and it's more exciting, I think, to ride than the Super 73, and you don't need to take a mortgage out and remortgage your house to ride this bike, because it's thousands of pounds cheaper. That's right, thousands of pounds cheaper, and more exciting. Now I've had this now for two or three weeks. I've taken it out with uh, Paige's, my, my daughter's um, other half, and uh, we took out the Super 73 and we took out this, and I'm telling you, this thing is more exciting. It is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna review it today, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna ride about, see some sights. We're gonna tell you a little bit more about the bike. I'm not gonna go too much into the tech specs about it, because there's lots of other videos that do that. However, uh, I'm gonna give you the uh, link for it in the description down below if you're looking for an e-bike and I'm telling you honestly this thing puts a smile on my face it's absolutely brilliant I love it uh, anyway you're not having it back anyway if you're new to the channel do hit the subscribe button click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos now without further ado my friends let's go This thing is a whole lot of fun, I've got to tell you. As I say, we're gonna have a little ride around today. I'm gonna to take the 360 camera out and you can see me riding around. I'll tell you a little bit more about the bike, how it rides, etc. Uh, but this thing is so, so good looking. It really is. I, you just wanna look at it and when you sit on it, you don't wanna get off. So, take a closer look at it, my friends. Right, there you go. How sexy does this bike look? Right, I'm gonna head off, go and get myself a coffee, go through a few of the tech specs for you. As I say, I'm not gonna go too deep into the tech specs because there's lots and lots of videos out there for that. We're just gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you the bike and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. But first, I need some caffeine. So come on, onwards. Right, okay, take my helmet off, uh, which is called Thousand or something, uh, if you want one of those. I'm not sponsored by them, uh, but there you go, you can get them online uh, on uh, Amazon. So I'll pop my helmet there, got my coffee, got my little biscuit as well, look, my caramelised biscuit. Right, let's get into some of the tech specs on this bike. Now, before we go any further, I went in there for a coffee and the guy went, oh, that's a nice bike, isn't it? It's really nice. And I was like, yeah, yeah it's an Engway. Uh, been sent to me to uh, to review it. Says, oh, it's really really nice. It turns heads. I've got to tell you, it really really does. 
turn said I bet I've got a helmet here now haven't I there we go right anyway let's go through some of the tech specs as I say I'm not really into all the tech stuff with the bikes I just like riding them getting out there and riding them and we're going to do that in a minute I'm going to take the 360 camera and we're going to have a little bit of a little bit of a ride and some fun let's get the tech specs out the way for all the tech guys so it's a 750 watt motor that uh, peaks out at 1000 uh, watts it's got 47 miles of range on one battery and 94 miles of range uh, on two batteries which you can remove to charge uh, and they come with a key to lock them as well and it takes around five hours to charge each battery now I haven't range tested it I'm guessing that if you use the throttle and you start pedaling more and you, you use more of a pedal assist then it's going to use more battery and you may not get quite up to the 94 miles that it states uh, there's also uh, a one battery version of it available and a two battery version of it available as well top speed of this bike is 28 miles per hour I've reached about 30 miles per hour uh, as well pedaling and using the throttle it's got 55 55 nanometers of torque and it's got a seven speed Shimano uh, gear not gearbox is it gears seven speed Shimano gears it's got adjustable front suspension so if you want a bit more of a comfy ride you can do that and adjust that it's also got you can be the, the you can be a mobile uh, mobile phone uh, mobile mobile phone battery charger because this thing has actually got USB charge points so you can charge your mobile phone you can go around like one of them uh, concerts and stuff with your bike and charge people to uh, charge the mobile phone up uh, anyway there we go fantastic it's got fantastic daytime uh, headlights as well and the brightest lights that I've actually seen on an evening if you put these on when you're on a night ride these things light up for yards in front of you you can see there are actually better headlights on that bike than they are on my car unbelievable it's got a rider height of five feet to six feet eight i'm six foot four and a half uh, and i'm okay on it i would say uh, pedaling on this bike it's a lot easier i think it's more meant to be used with the throttle than the than the pedals itself as well it's got a maximum load of 19 stone i'm 16 and a half stone uh, i used to be 22 stone actually but there we go it's a different story and this thing comes in three color options as well so there you go uh, i'll put a link to all the uh, specs etc or the website in the description down below and if you want one of these bikes there's a link in the description down below as well this thing is fantastic i'm going to drink my coffee uh, and then we're going to get, go and take it for a ride i can't wait we're going to have a whiz around uh, and see what it's like it is um really really comfortable as I, and as i say i went out with uh, Paige's partner my daughter's partner the other week we'd got the super 73 we'd got this and he was using my super 73 he says do you want to swap over i said no i'm all right actually i'll stick with this one and then he had a go as, as well. He says, let's have a go on it. And he said, I tell you what, he said, that thing is real, real fun. And for the price compared to a Super 73, you cannot go wrong. I'd go for one of these any day of the week. It really, it, it puts, it's putting a smile on my face. It's brilliant. Right, that's it. Had my daily dose of caffeine. Now for the exciting bit. Let's get the 360 camera on. Let's get on the bike and let's go and take it for a ride. I can't wait. Come on. Right, so hopefully you can hear me uh, on the... Uh, on the 360 camera there got the external mic on hopefully there's not too much wind noise right so we are in pedal assist five there's five pedal assist as i say uh, you've got a, a throttle on this it's not a thumb throttle uh, it's a proper motorcycle style throttle on this as well um, and it's uh, it's really good actually it's sticking a little bit i have to say but it's uh, loosening itself in there so uh, we're going to take this thing for a ride now then you've got five pedal assists on this i think you can change them as well but uh, your throttle will only go as fast i'm going to go around here actually your throttle will only go as fast as the pedal whoa it's a little bit of off-road uh, your throttle will only go as fast 
uh, as the mode that you've got it in. So if you've got it in pedal assist one, then your throttle will only go uh, as <coughs> that fast. There we go. This is like going off road. It's fun. This is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to pedal a little bit there now. As I say, pedal assist five. Um, it's not the most comfortable of bikes to pedal. I think personally, this bike is made to be used uh, with the uh, with the throttle. Right, here we go. Let's go over this bridge here. Oh, a little bit of a ramp. Here we go. Let's get up there. Whoa, there we go. Right, then let's go around here. This is just so much fun. Whoa, and easy to handle as well. And it feels so stuck to the road. It really does. This is fantastic. Right, let's go around here. It's got a good turning circle on it as well. Here we go. Excellent turning circle. We'll go around here. It's just, it's like being a kid again. It's brilliant. It looks great. It turns heads and it's fun to ride, which is what a bike should do. It should make, it should put a smile on your face. Right, let's get off of here and go for a ride. Right, here we go. <laughs> this is brilliant now then which way oh we've got this is like off-roading isn't it here we go a little pathway not been on here before right let's get some speed up 13 come on give it a bit of pedal Look at this, we're going through like a viaduct. Fantastic. Slow down a bit for pedestrians. Thank you. Oh, this is great. Hey! 20 miles an hour. Oh. Now then, which way? Oh, this is brilliant. Right, let's give this thing a run for its money. Here we go. 22, 23. Keep pedaling a bit there. Give it a bit of pedal assist. 24. Come on, you can do this. We're on the flat. 23, come on, pedal a bit, give it a bit of pedal. 25. It's so comfortable as well, the suspension on this thing is fantastic. Right, I'm going to take this thing off-road in a minute, get it on the field and really go for it. Give it some, uh, give it some welly. 26. 27, come on. Let's have it. Right, let's slow down. The brakes are excellent as well. What I will say about this bike is the brakes are actually on at the moment. They come the wrong way around. Uh, they come European, or is it European or American anyway? The back brake should be on the left uh, and the front brake should be on the right, but it's the other way around. You can have them swapped out. I booked it in uh, to get these swapped out so the English, the English way around, because that could be a bit confusing. You put the left brake on and you end up going over the handlebars. Um, but uh, I always use both brakes anyway, so uh, it's fine. This suspension is great. The brakes are fantastic though. They're not too snatchy, so uh, they're perfect and they stop you literally. That's oh, great and the suspension's fantastic. Nice thick tyres as well for the off-road. Uh, this thing will do uh, off-road, on-road. It's brilliant. Seven speed gearbox as I said. Come on, go, go, go. It's absolutely spot on. Now I'm using the pedals here to, to move off which is great. A little bit of throttle as well. But it is fantastic. It's just so comfortable. And the seat's really comfy as well. Very, very comfortable. Much more comfortable than a, 
normal bicycle seat but I'm going to head up to the field where uh, I can give it a real test off-road on the grass etc because these tyres are just screaming out for going off-road here we go it really does turn heads you can see people in the car just looking and smiling it's a great looking bike it's a great looking bike it's so much fun to ride it's brilliant it, i love it fantastic and you've got the daytime riding lights as well for extra safety you can't turn them off they're on all the time a little bit like a volvo isn't it there we go Right, we're going to take this up a hill now uh, and give it a bit of a hill test. Here we go, hill climb test. Okay, so nine miles an hour. I'm going to pedal with this as well because I'll try actually, first of all, without, without pedaling and just see whether the uh, throttle and the motor will actually take it up. So 15 miles an hour. Here we go. Now, come on, you can do this. 16 you can see the hill they're climbing still at 16 miles an hour down to 15 come on can you get to the junction without stopping now i'm not pedaling on this now at all here we go 16 it's doing it it's doing it 16 come on you can do this 15 16 come on you can do it 15 there we go it did it it did it absolutely fantastic right come on let's get a move on and get this off road it's just it's just such fun to ride and i've said i have the super 73 rx which is my own bike that i bought and i feel a lot safer on this one and it seems to corner better as well on the uh, is this going to do it up this hill it seems to corner a lot better on the super 73 oh this is come on 14 13 12 you can do this come on 11 uh, here we go i'm going to pedal a little bit actually give it a bit of give it a bit of help there we go um it seems a lot more grounded on the road than the super 73 when you do the corners on the super 73 I feel like the bike's going to leave you and slide out whereas this very very gripped to the road stuck to the road here we go go oh, blimey i tell you what the roads at the moment are terrible full of potholes there we go brakes are just fantastic oh it's great it really is i love it so comfortable I could ride this all day. It's better than my electric car. And we are off. Oh, we well was. Another set of traffic lights. Typical. Why don't they time these traffic lights so that they, uh, they're on green when you go through the first set? Right, here we go. Come on. I want to get off road. I want to get off road. Here we go. You see, cornering on this thing is brilliant. And that's where I say the... Uh, my own Super 73, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't corner like that on my bike. I'd feel like it was going to leave me. Right, here we go. Let's get in this park here. And uh, let's take this bad boy off road and give it some welly. Oh. Right, I tell you what, fantastic. Let's get this thing off road, have a bit of fun, uh, and then we'll round it up absolutely brilliant I love it right let's get this thing whoa on the grass here we go <laughs> it handles the grass fantastically oh let's just don't nobody's uh, let their dog 
curl one out on the grass. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to take ages to get it out of them tyres, I tell you. Here we go. Look at that. Handling it with ease. This is just brilliant. It's so much fun. Wow. Come on. 14 miles an hour. There we're going along this grassway. It is brilliant. Off road, you've really, really got these fat tyres that just take it in its stride. I think the great thing about this bike is you can have fun on it, go off road, go on the grass, get on some trailways, but at the same time, it's a great day to day bike as well. Whoa, come on, let's have it. 23, 24 miles an hour. Yes, come on. <laughs> Woohoo! And actually, the suspension on this thing, as I've said, it's not hurting my backside at all. It's just so comfortable. The riding position is great. It's a, the only thing I would say is, if you want to pedal it, it's not the great greatest riding position for taller people if you want to pedal it. But I don't think this thing is meant to be pedaled that much. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, I haven't taken it out in the rain. You'll have to look at the specs on that to see uh, whether it... I, th I think with all things electrical and uh, e-bikes, you've just got to be a little bit careful if it's heavy rain. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine with a little light sprinkling. This is absolutely great. Whoa, come on. We can do this. Trying to do it one-handed while uh, holding the camera as well. Here we go. There's also a little skate track over there i want to just take it on it and see what it's like i was going to wind the video up but i'm having so much fun i'm just going to keep going at the moment it's brilliant i'm like a little kid it takes me i've not stopped smiling since i've been on this thing it's brilliant right here we are, a skate park. I was going to wind the video up, but I think we should have just a little bit of fun, put a little bit of music over this, and then we'll round it up. I'll see what, the, see what it's like on here. Come on, onwards. You know what? I think oh, I think I'm going to leave the stunts to the professionals because, uh, as my little lad James says, I've just hurt my knickknacks <laughs> on that jump. This is a fantastic bike. I've said it a million times. Um, if you were looking for something that's fun, that can go off road, that can you know do a day to day trip for you or whatever then this is the bike it's absolutely fantastic it's so much fun it makes you feel like a kid again um, ride safely uh, and uh, if you want one I'll leave the link in the description down below it really is the I'd say one of the best looking e-bikes that there is on the market and as I've said it before yes it does look a lot like a Super 73 which I have um, but this thing, I will ride this, I think, more than the Super 73. It feels so much more planted, is the word, uh, on the road. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've had so much fun making this video. Thank you for Engway for sending me the bike. And as I say, the links will be in the description below. Uh, you can get them in well, all over the world, really. Uh, you know, America, the UK, Europe, everywhere across the world. I'll stick the links in the description. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, by the way, please do hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh. It's all from me today. I think I'm just going to go out now and just enjoy the bike. But not on this skate park. Leave that to the professionals. Bye-bye.
I love pulling skids on it. Now, before we go any further on this bike, because I can't wait to get it, that's crap, isn't it? It's just garbage. Do it again. 